one of the things I have to do in writing up my PhD thesis is synthesise large bodies of knowledge um, that relate to what I'm writing about and I only get 75,000 words to write my thesis which might seem like a lot but it's not a lot to me and um, a little while ago um, somebody asked me how I take notes when I'm reading documents and I answered and people found it surprisingly useful <laughs> so I thought maybe somebody would find this useful so I'll show you what I'm doing so here I have the line of argument that I'm hoping to make in my discussion chapter and this is informed by all my readings so far and by the findings of my research and things so I have you can't see it very well but I have these um, bullet point headings with a paragraph of what I sort of think I might be saying and that little paragraph here will will be pages worth of a thesis and then I have been putting alongside these paragraph sections um, information that I find that will go in these sections from other parts of my reading <laughs> then um, I need to keep these sections in my head all the time so I have them stuck up here in bullet point form and then I have them in simplified bullet point form here so that I've got that whole I'm trying to keep that whole argument in my head as I look at the finer grain detail of different parts of it and what is spread out here before me uh, will likely end up as just one paragraph but what I have are the notes that I've taken on various texts these are texts to do with decolonizing research and then I have gone along I wonder if, if you can see alongside each of the notes I've written in yellow I did it in yellow on purpose I know it makes it difficult to see but I don't want to end up seeing the yellow so I've written in yellow what the topic of that little quote or that little um, bit of reference you know what I've this is the information that I've picked from other people's papers and the yellow is what's what's the topic of that information and now on this one I then went through with green because once I've got those lists of this this quote is talking about this and this quote is talking about this you find ones that match up and I'm finding ones that match up across all of this so I've gone through in green and done the matches so you might see I've got my little green coding system there some of them are in boxes some of these are H's by the way some of them are little dots and then I found um, so that's from these these pages are, are that bit of green stuff and then I have ordered in my head did that bit in my head which order my little coding system goes in so I've got H's I've got boxes I've got squiggly lines I've got stars and then all of that became just those three sentences at the top <laughs> but I've currently got a problem because the stuff that I'm trying to synthesize at the moment almost doesn't fit on the table um, and <laughs> the, the important thing for me when I'm doing this is that I can see that it does just just fit on the table the important thing for me is that I can see all of it so what I'm going to do in order to synthesize this is do another level which is good because this is why you have different color pens so the yellow was the first run through the green was the theming but now this is my other problem I've run out of paper <laughs> so, so I might use the back maybe if I use the back of the first one there you go I use the back of the first one I've, so I've now on the section that's too big to manage over a small uh, you know I've numbered each of the quotes I've got my yellow markings and my green markings but the green markings are too big to synthesize into a little paragraph yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some topics on here and then I'm going to use my numbers to bring 
the quotes that are relevant to those topics here and I hope that I will get all the knowledge from these pages onto this page and then be able to write another three sentences <laughs> and the um I don't know if you can hear the Gregorian chant in the background that's just to keep me calm whilst I'm doing it calm calm we will understand it all and then we will write it down somewhere um that nobody will ever read but there you go